Hey y'all, and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and to card or cards of the day. I do hope this finds you well. And as always, this is a general reading for the collective, and you will see it when and if you're meant to. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And let's get into our reading today and see what Spirit Guide has. Ooh, that was pretty quick. Has for us today. Page of Cups. So this could be a loving offer coming in. This is, um, see how the page is offering the cup. So this could be someone that you know that has offered you something before. I kind of feel like they've offered this to you before. Um, but this is a loving offering. This is communication, talking. Um, they could be bringing you a message. They could be giving you some advice, you know, telling you um, what they've heard or seen. Um, or they could be, you could have asked for some information and they're bringing it to you. Um, but this is a genuine person. The Page of Cups would be somebody genuine, loving, uh, very energetic, kind of childlike um, uh, in their um, personalities, kind of childlike, but not in a bad way. They're just kind of, they're always energetic and always looking at the bright side of things. So that, but this could be someone bringing you a, a message could be someone giving you an offer it could be a family member but it could be someone that um, I feel like it's somebody that's a friend but you wasn't you've always seen them as a friend but I think um, they've seen you a little bit differently than just a friend and I feel like maybe now you're gonna kind of see them differently also when they when they offer you this um, but this is a genuine offer and a loving offer. And the Page of Cups would be, most most of the times, it's somebody between the ages of 25 and 35. Um, so this could be a young student. It could be younger than 25, but this could be a student. This can also be um, somebody that's inexperienced in what they're doing. So maybe they're really shy. You know, they're kind of shy about it and real nervous about asking you that's what i feel i feel like they're real nervous because they don't know what you're going to say um and shy but this this is new to them also so i feel like this is new for them also let's see why the page of cups is here let's see if this is a love offer or a, what is what kind of offer the high priestess so the high priestess is like use your intuition Look inside yourself for the answer. Um, trust in yourself. Trust in your instincts. Because the high priestess, you know, she's the second card in the deck. She's intuition. She's um, the high priestess. I mean, she's very smart. She's very creative. Um, she uses her intuition. That's why she's where she's at in the deck. Because she listens to her intuition and she lets it guide her. Um... The High Priestess can have a little mystery to her, and I think maybe you're kind of like a little mysterious to them, like as in you, you keep things to yourself, most things to yourself, like you don't, you don't go around and tell your business. And I think they like that, because um, the High Priestess, it can be secretive. She doesn't run around and tell her thoughts. She keeps things to herself. Um, and a lot of times keeping things to yourself will benefit you, and that's, that's why she's in the high priest this person's in this high priestess position because they just don't go around and talk and tell things and i think that's why this person is maybe drawn to you is because you're genuine um and you don't go you don't run around and gossip and talk and and everything you kind of keep things to yourself um and you're mysterious i think they like the mystery part about it because they don't know they don't there's things about you that nobody knows and I think they'd like to get to know you better that way. So, also with the High Priestess, I feel like you should use your intuition. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Use your intuition. It, you know, if, if this t is telling you this is a good offer or this is a good person coming in, or, excuse me. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze. Uh, or this is a good offer or a genuine offer coming in. Use your intuition. It will lead you in the right direction. But I really feel like this person likes it because the way you carry yourself and the, you're just a mystery to them and you don't uh, run around and talk and gossip. And I think they really like that. They really like that about you. One more, one more card. 
for this. One more card. Why is the high priestess here? And I feel like you need to use your intuition about the offer too. Make sure it's what you want. Um, and make sure you feel good about it. Use your intuition. It hasn't let you down. The King of Cups. So this could be somebody very stable for you. This could be somebody... Because um, the King of Cups is stability. He is creativity. He is uh, a loving person, a nurturing person. He's very sure about himself because you see he's on this island. Uh, on a throne in the middle of this of, of the ocean, it looks like. So he's very he's very secure in himself. He's very secure in his surroundings. He doesn't let the outside stuff bother him. So this would be somebody very stable coming your way. Somebody that you could trust. Somebody very stable, very creative. Somebody you can count on that give you emotional support. So the person coming to you, I feel like definitely probably is a water sign with the page of cups here and the king of cups here so this could be someone bringing a genuine offer to you and someone that's very stable and they will give you security and stability and emotional support and the king of cups is very smart they're very intuitive they're very smart um and they uh they do kind of lead with their heart a lot and they do kind of um, um, they lead with more emotion than they do with like tat like um, being stern and strict but the king of cups is very stable a very stable creative oh my goodness that go flip <clears throat> okay let's try this again there was like three of them that just went flying so this will be a very stable offer, I feel. This is someone that's offering you some stability, you know, companionship. Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Oh, so... All is not what it seems. I don't know if there's something going on that maybe you might need to look into. Um, but it says keep your dreams a secret. So maybe you are moving. Maybe you should not be telling people about your offer. Because I do feel with the high priestess, you are already a secretive person. I was saying that earlier. How you're very secretive. How you don't like to tell things. So what I'm feeling is maybe this offer that you've got coming in, not that the offer is not good, don't tell people about your offer coming in. If this is about an offer, like if the Page of Cups is here giving you a genuine offer, like somebody wants to work with you or collab with you, um, don't tell people. Keep it a secret. Keep what you're doing a secret for a while. Um, Cause that's what that, this, would, this could mean here is do not, give your secret if you're working on a project with somebody somebody comes in and says let's work on this project together keep it between you two don't say anything because that's what i was saying with the high priestess she's very secretive she keeps things to herself she doesn't like run around and tell things so with the card being here saying that you know keep your dreams a secret then you probably should keep your project a secret um whatever you're collabing and working on maybe you don't need to tell that right now Maybe that your high priestess needs to kick in and that mystery and that secretiveness about you, you need to keep it. And maybe this is why this person is coming in and offering you something because they know that they can trust you to keep the project a secret or whatever you're working on a secret and you won't go tell it until y'all have the chance to put it into action or make it work. So maybe they're coming to you because they trust you and they think you will keep a secret. And you can work together and then make it happen together. So that's very interesting. And it's not, if you're getting an offer like from the King of Cups and the Page of Cups, like a, a, a loving offer, I don't, think, I don't think you need to, that it's not what it seems as far as the love side of it, but... Um, 
I do think if it is an offer, you do need to keep it secret. I think that's one of the reasons the high priestess is here because, like I said earlier, she's she's mysterious and she keeps secrets. And then we get this card. So that kind of verifies that if you have a project you're doing or, or you're going in to collab with somebody, keep it a secret for a little while until it gets going good or until you two feel it's time to, to say it. Puffin, partnership, here we go. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So there you go, maybe you're getting ready to collab with someone. Maybe someone gave you an offer. Maybe your page of cups is an offer, a genuine offer that's coming in, but maybe they want you to collab secretly for a little while until you get your project off the ground and get it started um and and it it may be just be easier around if if no one knows what you're doing just far as the time you're going to have to put into it um but the part the puffin is the partnership is here so that's telling me a collab that you're going to be working on and kind of keep it a secret for a while i feel like that's why that person came to you because they're like, they'll keep my secret, we'll work on this, and then we'll make it happen. So, that's a great reading. Um, but if it is a love offer, I don't feel like it's a bad one. I do feel like maybe it's somebody that you've known, and they, they're coming in to give you stability. But like I said, if it is a project that you're working on, and someone's all giving you an offer, um, I feel like they came to you because you are in that high priestess um, energy where you can keep secrets. You're mysterious. You like you like mystery and keeping secrets and you don't like to tell things. You keep things to yourself. And I think that's why they came to you. So, very interesting reading today. So, thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting. I do appreciate everyone. I do hope y'all have a blessed day and love and light.